everybody. I have a great workout for you today. You are going to need a band. It does not need to have the handles, but any kind of TheraBand, stretchy band, and a chair. I'm going to take you through a full body strengthening workout using the band the whole time. And we are going to warm up a little bit. You do not need a big space to do this, but I want you to wrap your band around so it's nice and tight. And I want you to do a couple of knee lifts just like this. We're going to be doing upper body and lower body. We're also going to be doing two sets of 15. If you prefer three sets of 10, that is totally fine. I want you to work out at your pace and have fun with it. Couple more, five, four, three, two, one. Good, keep your band nice and tight. We're gonna raise the band up and down, and up and down, good. So we're just warming up a little bit. There's a couple of good reasons why we want to use a band. It gives us resistance on the positive phase and the negative phase. It's also very convenient, doesn't weigh much. It can travel with you. Good, a few more. And the most important thing is that you can control how much resistance you want in it. All right, now I'm just gonna have you twist, keeping the band tight, side to side. Good. A few more, four, three, two, one, good. You're gonna let go of the band and I would like for you to do a couple of wrist rolls. The most important thing when using a band is that we don't bend our wrist. It's very easy to do. So I want to make sure that your wrists are nice and warmed up. And we want to pay attention to good form. We don't want to let that band go too quickly or force us into a motion that's not what we want. All right, we should be good to go. Y'all ready to get started? Your first exercise is called a bicep curl. You're gonna stand on your band with either one foot, right, or two feet. Two feet makes the resistance harder. You decide. Two sets of 15, begin. Nice and slow up, nice and slow down. Now if you're going faster or slower than me, that's fine. Just make sure you have good form. Five more. Two more. And rest. We're going to do another set, so just kind of stay in this position enough to catch your breath, let those muscles kind of relax a little bit. We're going to go back to the underhand grip. Do you see how my arms are a little bit out of V? Don't force them in front. Let them naturally come out to a V. Second set, go. And we're breathing, right? Make sure that you do not hold your breath during any strengthening exercise. We're halfway there, you're doing great. Keep it up. We have five more good ones. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Super, y'all. Okay, so now we're gonna do the opposite muscle. We just did biceps, now we're doing triceps, the muscle in the back. Now, two ways to do it. You can stand on your band. We're gonna be doing overhead pushes right here. Or, you can also hold the band behind you. This is a lot easier way, but if you do not have the shoulder flexibility, then this is gonna be a little harder. So you decide, either stand on the band or just hold it behind you. Grab your handle and push up. Am I still in the view? Two, three, good. 
Keep your wrist straight. You're halfway there. You got this. Five more, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good. We have to do two sets, and I want to really get that arm a little fatigued, so let's not switch over yet. Let's do the other set on the same arm, okay? Remember, I'm holding my band. Now, I can cheat and hold it really loosely, but I want you to get good resistance. So grab it up tight, elbow back, second set, go. You could also do this sitting down. So we're halfway there, you got this. Five more, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Whew. Okay, you should have felt some fatigue for sure back here. Mine was a little burning. Okay, so now we do the exact same thing, second set. Remember, you can step on it, right? If you don't have the shoulder flexibility, or you can grab it behind your back. All right? Here we go. Ready? Push. Bending the elbow. Nice and slow in both phases. Let's go at your own pace. We're halfway there. Keep going. Working the triceps so that when we wave, our arm doesn't keep waving back. You know what I'm talking about. 13, 14, and 15. Good. So we rest. You might want to get out of that position altogether. All right. And let's get it going. Second set. Same motion. Ready, go. You're doing great, y'all. You're almost there. We have, what am I on? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and give me one more good one. Woo, 15. Okay, so we've done biceps and triceps. Now we're gonna do a little bit of shoulder work, okay? I like to do some for the rotator cuff muscles. There's a lot of them in there. And, come on, <laughs> you're gonna wrap your band so that it's nice and tight. Can you see that? No loosey-goosey, keep it tight. And we're gonna keep our elbows in, and we're gonna go out and in. You don't have to go out too far. Let's see, let me try that again. Mine was a little too tight. All right, here we go. That's a little better. So, don't get your elbows out here. It's a little motion. Out and in. Out and in. Out and in. So if you've had rotator cuff surgery, or you have a tear, or you have pain, these can be very helpful. Keep it simple though. You should not be straining. You should be able to breathe and talk. So we have five more, I think. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whew. So it's, it's a small movement, but you can really feel it deep into the shoulders. Second set, remember you can do this sitting down. Ready? Out and in. Good, you got this. Keep your elbows in. Wrists are straight. You're halfway there, come on. If you need to loosen up to keep going, do so. I'd rather you keep going. Three more, 
13, 14, ooh, 15. Very good. Relax. Shake it out. Okay. Let's continue with the shoulder. We're going to try overhead presses. If you have a really thin band, a really light resistance band, you could probably do two feet and two arms or one foot and two arms. Mine's too tight. I'm going to have to do one arm at a time. So follow with me if you like, or you can do two. Step on the band, right? Um, band is on the inside. It can rest on the outside of the arm or inside. Okay, we're going to push straight up. I hope I'm still in the view. Am I? Two, three, four, five. So, our palms are in, and that means it's safe to go all the way above the head. If this bothers your shoulder, you could modify. You could just do maybe little ones, right? See what works for you. If you can go all the way up, let's go for it. You have one more. And rest. Good. So relax the shoulder. I want to stay on the same arm to get a little bit of muscle endurance working. If we go back and forth, it gives a lot of rest. This is a little bit of rest. So your muscles should still feel it. May not be ready for the second set, but we're going to push through it. Just make sure no pain. And I know that you're doing a great job. I want you to keep up the good work. Stay motivated. So we have five more, y'all. You can do this. 11, 12, come on, push. 13, you can do it. 14, one more. Ooh, yes, okay. I felt that. No kidding aside. All right, let's get moving. Now we can rest the shoulder. Maybe you're doing two. <laughs> if you're doing both shoulders, then uh, you're going to want a little rest. So just pushing straight up. Band on the inside or outside. Now, if you don't have a band with handles, you don't necessarily need it but I would highly recommend getting one. It keeps your form good. It keeps your wrist straight. And simply, it's more comfortable. Two more. 15, and we rest. So at the, um, in my description, there'll be a link on where to order a band if you don't already have one. Okay, so, ready? Let's go. Second set, you got this. Full body workout, y'all. We're hitting every major muscle. Right now, shoulders. I like the band, you can take it with you, right? If you're traveling, just throw it in your bag. Turn my video on. <laughs> And there you go, you have a workout. Five more. Two, three, we got two more, come on y'all. One more. And barely made it through that one. So uh, take a break if you need it. Water at any time, we're not gonna stop for it. We're gonna keep moving. We're gonna go for the back. These are called lat pulls. If you're in a gym and you've seen the machine with the handles and people pull down, very similar. Wrap your band so that it's tight. I hope I'm still in, here we go. Okay, so watch me. I pulled down my elbows to my rib cage. Do you see how my band is kind of growing out? Let me show you what I don't want you to do. This is not an up and down motion, okay? I'm pulling it out, elbows down, going back up. You should feel this in your back. 
we're working the lats. Those are the big triangle muscles in your kind of the sides of your back. Ooh. So we did these right after we did the shoulder one. So we might have a little shoulder fatigue going on and that's okay. I need one more good one. Let's give it all you got and 15 and we rest. Good job. So we got our second set. I know you're doing great. I wish I could see you, but I know you're doing great. All right, let's bring it up. Lat pull, second set. You can stand, you can sit, you can walk around like I usually do in class. Four, five. And again, any speed, whatever works for you. I'm just here for guidance. So we're halfway there. Pull. The motion here is the pulling down part. 12, 13, 14, 15, and rest. Don't worry, at the end of this video, we're going to stretch those muscles. You're doing so well. Okay. I have another one for you. It's also for your back. I call them bow and arrows. I'm sure there's another name for it, but we're going to do them two different ways. The first way is we're going to hold it out straight. One arm straight, one arm bent. I think it looks cooler just to look at the straight arm, almost like you are pulling a bow and arrow. So if you want to look, go for it. You're halfway there. Five more, you got it. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, good. Our second set is still on this side, but I wanna show you a different way to do it. You could stay here or you could pull down. Okay, it's kind of similar, but a little bit more shoulder. So how about you decide which option you want, and we keep going. You're halfway there, come on. Eight, nine, Ten, our wrists are straight. I'm going to say that so many times, but it is important. Twelve, thirteen, and can I get one more, please? Fifteen, and relax. Good job, y'all. We got to do the other side. Ready? We're going to start with this option. We pull. I like to get my straight arm a little bit even farther behind the body. Do you see how far I go? It's almost like a stretch, but stretching of the chest. I'm working the shoulders. And then we can look if we want. At any time you can loosen the resistance, right? You don't have to hold really close together. And I am really feeling this, and that's 15. Good. We have another set. The good news is we're kind of on the home stretch. We're going to be doing some abdominal and legs here in just a minute. So our second set, if you would like this option, would be pulling down, one arm bent, one arm straight. And if you want to look cool, look that way. Three. Good job, keep going. Halfway there, you got this. We're 
we're going to have some nice strong arms, nice tight muscles, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Fantastic. Great job. Okay, let's let the arms rest and we're going to do some legs. You're going to stand on your band. You're going to cross your band. You see how it's like an X? Okay. We're going to take three steps to your right, three steps to your left. Now, you'll notice that you won't be able to go big steps. That's about as big as I can get them. And that's okay because I actually already feel the muscles in my legs working. All right, that was one set. Now, we can't just do two sets of this. I propose that we do five. So that was two sets. This is number three. Go back to the left. Ooh, I can feel this in my hips. I hope you can too. This is number four. Yes. Good job, y'all. Ooh, yeah. Hello, hips. And guess what? This is number five. So this is our final set. And last time. Great job. Let's unravel. And we're going to move to the chest muscles. This imitates like a push-up. You take your band behind your back and you shove it up way under your armpits, okay? This is where a short sleeve shirt comes in handy. Tighten up your band. You might want to wrap your hands around a little bit. And we're just simply pushing forward. Remember, you can do this sitting down. Good. Halfway there. Keep pushing, y'all. We have five more. Make them good. 12, 13, 14, 15. We have another set, so don't get too comfortable. Leave it here. I'm just going to change the second set a little. It's just an option. You can do exactly what we did before, or you could cross just to change it up. I'm alternating which arm goes up top each time. So I'm on number four, and we're going to 15 as usual. Six. We're halfway there. You have five more. 11, you got this. 12, 13, 14, you got this just one more. And 15, really good work, y'all. All right, we're gonna work the abdominals a little bit. Take your band, wrap it so it's tight, not loose, tight. Hold it above your head lean and up. Now maybe your shoulders do not like this. Your option is to keep them bent, okay? You decide. These are called side bends. <laughs> Halfway there. Five more. 12, 13, 14, 15. And you're gonna wanna rest your arms a little bit because we have really worked the arms already. 
So you're going to feel us in the arms, but we are working the core. I would like for you to stay on the same side and go for that second set. Go as far as you can down, but make sure you're not cheating, right? We don't need to go forward to get lower, just straight to the side. Keep breathing. And I believe that's 11. I might be off one or two, 12, 13, 14. And 15, good job. Okay, you're doing great. I know you are, I know you are, I know you are. Okay, arms up, we need to go to the other side, but I know your shoulders are gonna feel this. We can do it there. We got it. Four, five, six, side bends. Six, seven, eight, Halfway there. So I kind of use like my left arm and I kind of like pull myself up a little bit with it. It feels a little bit easier that way. 13, 14, 15, let your arms rest. We have one more set like that, okay? Let's just get it over with, let's just do it. We got it, come on, ready, three, two, one, go. Ah. Two sets of 15, everybody. That's everything we're doing. That's 30 reps. It's really good. If you need more break, you would just do three sets of 10. We have five more. Make them good. 11, we're on the home stretch. 12, 13. 14, 15, <laughs> nice work y'all. We have one more in standing. It's kind of a fun one. And I hope that you can follow along with me. You're gonna keep your band kind of tight. Let me show you what we're gonna do. I lean to the side, but then I make a huge circle and I twist my band and then I pull myself up. Did that make sense? Let's try it. So I lean, I turn, and I pull myself up. So I like to keep my knees straight here. And I get a good hamstring stretch. Now these will take us forever if we were to do two sets of 15. So these, we're gonna do one set of 10. I hope I'm right, I hope this is seven. If not, no big deal. <laughs> I just think these feel good. I don't know about y'all. And one more. Ooh, right, that just feels good. Okay, so now we need to do the other side and we do 10. And then guess what? We get to sit after this, yay. Okay, ready? So we lean, we bend at the hips, we turn it and we pull up. Bend, turn, pull up. Bend, Turn, pull up. Remember, we're going to 10, so I think this is five. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine and ten. Oh, y'all, 
rocked it. I know you did. So now we're going to do a couple more, but they're going to be in seated position. So grab a chair. Okay. I have my nice, cute, fuzzy chair. Any chair will work, y'all. You can use the kind with the, this, um, the back, the arms, the back, all that will work. Okay. I have three for you. The first one is gonna be for your legs. Grab your band, pick a leg, any leg, I'll go with my right. I'm gonna wrap it to get nice resistance and I'm gonna kick and pull in. So my arms stay steady, y'all, okay? Don't move your arms with the legs, that defeats the purpose. We wanna use the band, use the resistance. So we want to go bent to straighten, bent to straighten. We also want to work on good posture. So keep your chest up. And I have no idea how many we're doing. I'm going to guess this is 12, 13, 14, and we're got another set, so don't get too comfortable. Just leave your band. Certainly take a little rest, whatever feels good to you. And I just realized my door doesn't close all the way <laughs> in this rec room I'm doing this in. I started off outside. The bugs were so loud, so I came in. So I hope this setting is okay for y'all to follow me. Eight, nine, ten. So five more good ones. Eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. Okay, so that we're not lopsided, I want you to do the other leg nice and tight, arms stay steady, no movement. If you have a band and it's old, it might be time to get a new one. And you wanna store the bands in a dry place. You can even throw a little bit of baby powder, a little talcum powder, and it keeps them from not getting so sticky because that's when they break. And I'm talking too much, so I lost count again, but I think this is 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. All right, so a little bit of a rest. And then we go right back into it. Second set. Only two more exercises after this. So you are definitely on the home stretch. Six, seven. Come on, push, you can do this. You're getting stronger every minute you're doing this. So keep up the good work. And 15, beautiful work, y'all. We're doing every single exercise known to mankind with the band. So the next one is called rows. Now, let me talk you through how I want you to put the band. Put the band over the top of your feet, wrap around, okay? I'm gonna do that one more time. I know this because I do this in my class and not everybody <laughs> gets it right. You know who you are. Okay, it goes over the top, around. Why are we doing that? So these doesn't come from the bottom and snap into us. Okay, now they're secured. Now we're ready to do some rows. All right, my shoes are sticking. Okay, so let's start. We pull the elbows back and I want you to exaggerate your posture really stick your chest out, really arch your back, and really squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keeping your elbows in. Don't these feel good? This is such a good posture exercise. 
Maybe you have five minutes to exercise. I would grab a band and do these. Five more. Squeeze. 13, 14, and then we rest. But don't get out of this position. Don't get too comfortable, because we just have another set. All right, ready? Go. Squeezing the shoulder blades. You got this, y'all. Five more. Come on. You got it. Eleven. Come on. Twelve. You have this. Three more. Just three more. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15. Ah, oh, I saved the best for last. Just kidding. I don't know. This is uh, not everybody likes to get up once they've been sitting down. But we're going to go sit to stand. Why the band? It adds resistance. Now, it's important that we keep our hands under hand, 90 degree angle. Stand. Sit. Now, maybe you need your hands to push off. And that's okay, just drop your bands. I would love for you to try this exercise. You can never do this too many times. Because it gets hard getting up and down chairs, right, as we age. Especially if it's a soft one or a low one. Those are always fun. So the more we practice it, the easier it will be. We're going to do five more, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So I'm going to give you a break and only do one set. <laughs> I want you to take your band and just drop it. We are done with the strengthening part. Y'all did so good. We're gonna move right into some stretching, just a little bit. So if you need to do more after this video, please do. This will get you through, getting through some of the tight muscles. Straight knee, lean forward. So we're just stretching the back of the hamstring, right behind the knee, hinging at our hips. And then we're going to take our opposite hand and reach for that leg, that toe, that knee, that shin, something. And that will stretch a little in our shoulder and back. And then we're going to roll up, feet together, and we're going to stretch our back by leaning down, hugging our thighs, letting our head drop and hold. And then we roll up, we stick that opposite leg out, knee straight, bend over, hold the stretch. If you like this video, I appreciate it if you would click the little thumbs up. That helps me know what videos you like. And then you're gonna take your opposite hand and reach down, stretch your back. I also would very much appreciate if you would click the red subscribe button under the video. That way you'll get notifications every time I post a new video. And then we wanna take our legs together. We're gonna to roll up, we're gonna stretch up Hands behind our back, pull the shoulder blades together, chin up. And relax, opposite stretch would be to stretch the upper back by interlocking the fingers, go forward, chin down. Head up, 
last stretch will be for our shoulders. Wrap it across your chest. Take your other hand. Hold it in place. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. I hope you got a great workout. This gives you an option if you don't have hand weights. Other arm across. And again, please read my description in the video. It will show you how to um, buy a TheraBand or, you know, we're all ordering online these days, right? It's hard to get to stores. So um, I'm just going to put out my favorite one, and you can pick from the resistance. I'll explain all that in the description of the video. Good. And then we're going to inhale up, and then we're going to exhale. I think y'all did a great job. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye.